worst insult you could possibly give a surfer, and I know that you would never ever say this to someone, but the worst insult you could possibly give would be telling them that they have got poo stance. Poo stance is a travesty, it's a heresy, it goes against everything that is good and pure about surfing. And the reason why I know all about this is because I used to have poo stance. The good news though is that poo stance can be overcome and in this video I'm going to be running through how to do that. First of all though we need to look at, well, what is poo stance? Poo stance is characterised by a surfer bending at the waist. In really bad cases the head will be in line with the bottom, the bottom is sticking out and it looks like the surfer is doing a toilet. It's usually accompanied by both arms being on the same side of the board, along the same rail, the toe side rail. Often the knees will be going apart as well in a squat and it's very commonplace as well for the feet placement to be bad. The front foot in particular is a culprit, it probably won't be properly on the stringer. So what this surfer ends up doing is they're sort of balancing with their head and their bottom instead of finding the balance through the legs. So not only does it look really bad, and that's not even the main thing about poo stance, it looks really bad, but it's also, it's really unbalanced. And also you won't be able to do things like turns and maneuvers from that initial position. Backside turns in particular are gonna be nigh on impossible. So how do we overcome poo stance? Well, I believe that in the majority of cases of poo stance, the problem is not the bottom. The root cause of the problem is actually the feet placement. A lot of people, when they pop up, they don't rotate their hips enough. They're rotating only maybe 60 or 70% of what's required. And what that means is that the front foot does not land properly on the stringer in between the hands. And what that surfer will then do is they'll, they'll subconsciously sort of realize that something's off and they'll realize they need a bit more weight on that toe side rail so they'll bend at the waist. And what they're trying to do is counterbalance for that foot. They're compensating for that, for that bad foot. So I think if you want to be a good surfer, you can be a little bit obsessive about your feet placement. You want military precision with your feet. You want the arches of both feet to be bisected by that stringer half of each foot on one side of the board and the other half on the other side of the board. So if you pop up and you feel that that front foot is not in the right place, then whilst you're down low, just take an extra little step, just shuffle it across so it's in between the hands and that is absolutely fine. Just don't do it when you've stood up and then start moving the feet because I think you're gonna feel a bit unbalanced. It's better to do it when you're, when you're down low. Our next line of attack against the scourge of poo stance is the arms. You don't want both arms on the same side of the surfboard. It looks like you're sort of playing the piano. There's a couple of different ways you can have your arms. Generally for beginners here, we teach them to sort of do the bow and arrow, so that front arm pointing where you want to go. Or you can have what's called um, an open stance where both arms are sort of loosely held in front of the body, almost like a Neanderthal with one hand over one rail, the other hand over the other rail. So it's almost like you, you pop up and you just sort of lift your arms up. Or sometimes when I pop up, I really think about getting my front arm out of the way. I just don't want that front arm coming across my body, even momentarily for a second or two, because in the lifespan of a wave, a second or two can be quite a long time. So you know, keep that, keep that front arm out of the way. The next thing you can do if you're tackling poos dance is think about the knees. You definitely don't want to be in a squat like people do in gyms or like you're playing a baseline game of, game of tennis. You want to have both knees tracking in towards each other, almost like that first stop you learn in skiing, the snow plow. Or in a previous video I've mentioned that imaginary watermelon in between the knees and you want to squeeze that watermelon. That's going to engage your thighs, it's going to tuck your pelvis under and it's going to allow you to keep your torso uh, nice and straight. You can roll this outer edge of your back foot off the board, that's fine, and it allows you to sort of tuck that back knee in behind the front leg and you can really sort of drop that knee lower. But make sure that you're sort of keeping this, the whole inner edge of that back foot. Uh, engaged with the board. You don't want to come up onto your tippy toes. So by squeezing the watermelon, I can really apply pressure into the board. I can apply pressure through my feet 
especially through the arches of, of the feet. So we've talked about the feet placement, we've talked about the arms, we've talked about the knees. Um, another aspect of it is just making, really making sure that you're tucking your pelvis under. Um, some people's pelvises are, pelvises are a little bit more tilted than others. Um, I sometimes I'll tell people to sort of push the bush and I think maybe because it's a little bit racy um, that resonates and they sort of remember it. Or you can think of John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever in the famous night clubbing scene where he's kind of thrusting his hips forward. That's exaggerating it a bit but it's a nice visual and I think that that is really good inspiration. So my final tip if you're struggling with your surfing is it's great to get video of you surfing because often there's this mismatch between what we think we're doing and what we're actually doing and I'll use myself as an example of this because before I saw the first video of myself I thought I was pretty good. Sadly the video told a whole different story and I'd sort of wondered why I wasn't able to do decent turns and I had just sort of thought well I'll keep practicing 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 and eventually I'll be able to do it but that strategy was never going to really work because I was practicing the wrong thing my fundamentals were were wrong so even though seeing that video it was a blow to the ego it did force me to sort of confront that error and now I consider myself to be a poo stance reformee so if you want to find out more about the surfing and yoga retreats here in Costa Rica, then check out the website, puravidaadventures.com. By the way, we do a ton of video. Uh, and if you like this video, you could always subscribe to the channel. It gives us a warm, fuzzy feeling. And it means you'll stay up to date with all the, the, the cool stuff that's going to be coming on here. So thank you very much for watching. Cheers. Cheerio.